il GS quello nuovo? Dai, è troppo bello. 1003, no, 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 foto. È 1003 questo? No, no, no. So that's the first look of the 1300 GS out in the wild, apparently. This is unverified. We all know that the spy industry, the spy shot industry is a bit murky. So do be careful of believing everything you see. But uh, this one looks quite legit. So we do know in July the bike was presented to a specific group of people. And we do know that some companies have the bike and have been scanning the bike to make OEM parts for this machine. For example, crash bars and racks and stuff like this. So those companies have access to this bike. We do know this, but this is the first time it's actually been seen on the road. So it's quite interesting. So I'm no professor of uh, bike anatomy or anything like this. Um, I just want to have a look at it with you guys and have a look at publicly available data. It's now publicly out there. So uh, let's just jump in and have a look. So first off, it's probably Italy or Switzerland, probably Italy. The reason is that they're speaking Italian uh, and also the road signs look like it's um, Italian road signs but it's probably in the north in the Alps there. I've been on these roads many times and it looks pretty familiar to be either Switzerland or the southern parts of Switzerland or uh, Italy, the northern parts of Italy. So straight off you see that the bike has a rather large luggage system. This strapping system here is quite interesting. I wish I thought of that. It looks like they're just roping it on to the bike what they don't want is it to fall off they're still testing it prototyping it making sure that it's all good or they've actually dropped it already or it's come off already and they just want to keep it on there uh, for this trip it looks like there's a, a rider behind that's controlling and checking i don't know what he's there for but he's there for, for security um, and the bike looks quite quite good actually i had the same feeling when i saw the 1200 in 2013 i was like mm. it grew on me really quickly and you can tell it's a, quite successful and when the, the adventure version of the 1200 came out it was like yeah badass so these guys know what they're doing so give them a chance if you're in the in the comments there going no not my bike i'm glad i bought the 22 model blah blah um wait so straight off the bat you can see it's a brand new luggage system by the six of it and also the fairings are obviously different the beak and the screen up here the light the panels are more defined this time if you remember the last spy photos uh, it was covered up mock covers all over it uh, just to hide the frame this one looks like it's actually uh, somewhere close to the final design uh, the piston head here is definitely covered up this is definitely hidden still so you just the other thing I just noticed there that there is a separate windscreen uh, and this whole panel up the front, it looks like it's yeah, it's some kind of detachable or well, not detachable, but it's a separate entity of the whole fairing front there. Electronics in there. Um, I guess the logo would go somewhere here. And it looks like also that there is a new handguard there. You can see it's maybe even metal through there. So it's a reinforced over molded metal. That would be quite cool because the 1200 GS versions were a bit weak. I broke a few of them. The mirrors look the same. And the piston head looks a bit um, covered up too. Doesn't look actually like it's supposed to be showing yet. That looks like more of a touring kind of look. Definitely more of a touring kind of look over the adventure kind of look. But this is a GS, so that's not really completely what they're targeting. But they look like they're moving towards more like a touring. Hey, GS, quello nuovo. They're speaking Italian, he's saying, uh, is it the 1300GS? He's saying, uh, no photos, no photos, and the cameraman's saying, no, no photos, but he's taking a video, so he's not t he's not lying. Yeah, 1300. You can see also see here they've got the standard lights that's currently available for the GS. No, no, no. And there's the front light there. It's quite small, but we don't know if this is a cover. This is probably just they're probably covering it up. That might that beak might be the right the original, but uh, the, the the cover here might be just covering up the front there as well. The iconic look. And he's off. And it's got a classic GS sound too. So that's it. That's the new GS. I'm going to have a look at this today, try and work out what's going on here. Uh, I haven't seen the bike, unfortunately. So if you do have the bike, let me know. I do have some information, but I can't share that publicly uh, because it's not public. It's up to them to release, but this is just um, unverified 
videos that are circulating online. So take that as you will. I just thought it was a pretty cool update to the development of the 1200 to 1300 GS. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Cheers.